In this tutorial, we're gonna see how we can use the free Gmail SMTP server to send our emails. And I'm Andrew from More Convert, and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more WordPress content if you haven't already. So in this tutorial, we're gonna set up Google's free API and we're gonna send our emails through that. And that has a few benefits because your emails will be sent through Google and through Gmail. So you have a much, much lower chance of getting your emails in this spam. So they most of the time will land in the inbox and that's a pretty good benefit that you can get from that. But it has its own limitations because we are using the free service. You can send a limited amount of emails each day or each month and you can check that out. But if you like this service, then you can just pay for it and get bigger uh, volume of emails. And basically the process is exactly the same. So let's get started. So first we're gonna install the free WordPress plugin to integrate Gmail to our WordPress and we're gonna bring plugins and add new and I'm just gonna search for WP SMTP and it's here WP Mail SMTP by WP Forms. You can use other plugins if you want to. So this is a really good choice. Lots of people are using this email and it's not only for Gmail, you can integrate various email service using this plugin. So I'm just gonna activate it. And we have it here WP Mail SMTP. And okay, I have uh, previously installed this and selected Gmail. So by default, maybe I think it's using default none, but you can just go ahead and use any service that you like. As you can see, we have many services here. In this case, we're gonna use Gmail by Google. And here's the from name. And this is the name that will be included in the header of your email. So in this case, I'm just gonna use just a demo. You can enter anything that you want. And to use Gmail, we have to get a client ID and a client secret because we are using an API and we need these two passwords, these two codes to authenticate. And it's easy as you will see. So first we have to head to console.developers.google.com. Google.com. And it will bring the Google Cloud Platform. And I'm signing in with my Gmail account. If you are visiting this site uh, for the first time, then you have to enter your Gmail account and you can just use that. There's nothing really to get to this page. You only enter your Gmail account and you're there because all of Google services are integrated. Then we have to create a new project. So I'm just gonna click on this button here or from here and new project. And here is the name, I'm just gonna enter email or SMTP email, SMTP email. And then we have to select an organization. You can just leave it as no organization and just click on create. So it just created the project for me, but now we have to enable the API. So you have to click on this button here, enable APIs and services. We're gonna select the Gmail API and then click on enable. And now we can just enter the credentials here. So I'm just gonna click on create credentials and it says, which API are you using? Of course, we are using the Gmail API. So let's just select Gmail API. And then uh, we're gonna select user data and then next and then the app name so i'm just gonna enter just a demo and you have to enter an email here so i'm just gonna enter my email here and also a developer contact information i'm just gonna use the very same email here and click on save and continue and we don't need to add this here so we can just click on done and Okay, we have to select the OAuth client ID. In this case, we have to select web application. And the name, again, I'm just gonna type just a demo. Just demo. Or maybe not with the dashes. And here in the authorized JavaScript origins, we have to enter our domain so like this I'm just gonna paste it here your full domain name and for also for authors redirect URLs we have to paste 
this uh, line here. So you have to copy this always and paste it here. And click on create and done. Then we have to bring the OAuth consent screen. And here we can just click on publish app and confirm. You can always bring it to back to testing. And also it will show your data here. And then we have to click on edit app. And as you can see, you can just edit anything you want here. Everything sounds okay. And then we have to just bring the credentials page again and all of clients. And this is the client that it has created for me. I can just edit it. We have the client secret and client ID. So it has created for me. So I can just copy these two lines here. First client ID and I have to paste it here. And also the client secret. Again, I will paste it here and just click on save change, save setting and allow plugin to send emails. And it will ask you to sign in. So I'm just gonna sign in with my account, the account that I used uh, for integrating and sending emails. And you might get this uh, error message here. Google hasn't verified this app. It's fine because of course it's your email address and you trust yourself. So you can just click on advanced and click on this go to this address and you have to check this checkbox, read, compose, send and permanently delete all your emails from Gmail. So basically you are uh, letting this uh, domain and letting this uh, WordPress website to read, compose, send and permanently delete all your, your emails from Gmail. And then you just click on continue. And if everything goes right, you get this message. You have successfully the current site with Google API. And now we can just test it to see if it works. So you have the connection here. If you want to change it and use another service or another email, you can just remove the connection. And now I can just bring email test and enter any address I want here. And it's better that you, that you use another address here, not the address you are sending your emails from. And you can just click on send email and it will send an email and if you receive it, it means that everything is just working fine. But you should not get any error at this stage. If you follow the tutorial correctly and enter everything, then at this stage it will just work. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel for more WordPress content. And like always, you can reach our team from the link in the caption.